eventually the continent became more settled. Over the next few thousand years, people adapted to the many regions of the continent, and their varying lifestyles were shaped by the landscape they lived in. Then, more than 14,000 years after the first people set foot in North America, another wave of immigrants brought changes that would have a dramatic impact on the landscape and wildlife of the New World. Just over 500 years ago, Europeans arrived in North America. With these colonizers came an animal that hadn't been seen here for thousands of years. The horse returned to the Americas, now tamed and carrying the Spanish conquistadors. This new form of transport was rapidly adopted by the native people, which was bad news for some native animals. Bison had once lived alongside the wild horses of North America, and had prospered at the end of the Ice Age while the horses became extinct. But now the new tame horse became the bison's enemy. The horse's speed and stamina gave native people an advantage over their prey that they never had before. was an even bigger ally to the increasing number of European settlers spreading out across the continent. They killed millions of bison for their meat and hides. By the mid-1800s, the horse and the cowboy had come to symbolize the Wild West. And of course, with the cowboys came cattle. As the bison quickly vanished from the landscape, cattle filled their place. <laughs> 